It's the bald and the beautiful. They know all about you. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. Candy, we start with Eric Church. Get this. So he's building his bar in Nashville, and he says he just doesn't want it to be a regular bar. He sent over 40,000 members of his fan club a deed. Each of them got an individual deed to a specific brick in the Nashville bar. Each one has a unique number. You can enter it on a website, see exactly where the brick is located. And his whole thing was, my fans helped me build this career. I want them each to have a piece of this bar. So now officially his fan club each like they don't Owns they don't a own piece it of the oh. right i mean well they own it but it's not you know they can't go claim their brick and take right. their brick out of the wall <clears throat> i um, love that though but they each have a brick in the wall i love that i absolutely love it so cute ah, it's awesome uh some uh, albums out uh, today luke grimes uh, one of the actors from yellowstone has his first country album out today oh Yep. And Sawyer Brown. Remember the group? Uh, 40 I years do. already. I yeah. do. Yeah. They uh, originally, I think, were on Star Search back in the day. I think and, you're right. Yep. Sawyer Brown, uh, big celebration. <coughs> f- f- you okay over Excuse there? Me? Just that coughing. A, okay. Uh, they have a uh, an album out. All right. So big news. Did you see Mike Tyson is getting back in the ring? What, what, th- this sounds like an insane thing. The ki- guy he's fighting is 27. Right. Now, what is going on? Tyson's 57. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Jake Paul is a guy who's gotten into uh, boxing recently. And Mike Tyson, obviously, one of the greatest of all time. Um, they're both going to make a ton of dough. It's going to be on Netflix. Now, since I don't have to pay for it, and I already have Netflix, I'll check it out, Candy. That's fine. I understand. I just... Ugh. It so, reminds me of Muhammad Ali when he came back and it was ugly. And... Well, let's let's talk about this for a second. July 20th at AT&T Stadium in Dallas, Jerry's World down there. Um, it's going to be live on Netflix. Tyson versus Jake Paul. Yes, there is a 30-year difference. They're both going to make a ton of dough. Is it real? Is it staged? Do they do they get together behind the scenes and say, "Let's go three, four, five rounds before you knock me out"? Like, what? How is this gonna play? I'm curious how this plays out. Um, uh, I don't I, know. And I don't know who wins necessarily, but I will say, I saw on TikTok a video of Tyson training, and he looks like he's 25 years old. Let me tell you something. You want to be hit in the face with one of his punches? I don't. I don't know. No. We'll see what happens. I, 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 I. I just yeah. I hope he doesn't bite him. That's all I have to say. <laughs> well done. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Candy, sad news. Steve Lawrence from the uh, the famed uh, married couple and... and Stephen Eady. Yeah, an entertainer, Stephen Eady. Uh, he passed at the age of 88 yesterday. Oh, wow. I didn't realize he was that young. I actually yep. thought he was older. Okay. Sorry, Stage... Yeah screen you know yeah everywhere yeah mm-hmm. um and i think it was alzheimer's the like the end of alzheimer's oh. is, um akira toriyami uh he's 68 passed at the age of 68 uh the anime series creator of dragon ball now i never got into that maybe your sons did i don't know i don't know i never did i know that all right, uh, passed away, yeah. Um, m- movies out in the theater uh, this weekend. Kung Fu Panda 4, um, an imaginary, it's called Imaginary, it's a PG-13 film, and a drama called Cabrini that stars John Lithgow, who I love. Yes. Um, may check that out. Yeah. Um, the trailer for Inside Out 2 is out, and that uh, is in theaters June 14th. I thought Inside Out, the original, was amazing. That's the one with the emotions, you know, the emotions with the... I do. I never saw that, though. Ah, it's a great film. Um, I think one of the great scenes, even though it's animated, one of the great scenes in cinematic history uh, where where, uh, this uh, imaginary friend Bing Bong passes away, it really made me tear up, Candy. Oh, look at you, Bing Bong. Yeah. Um, the trailer for Hulu's Thank You, Good Night, The Bon Jovi Story is out. Oh, oh got to see that. 
Looks good. Yes, it yeah. looks good. And finally, I uh, love this. Millie Bobby Brown says she feels like the female Tom Cruise because she performed all her own stunts in the Netflix movie Damsel, which is out today. First of all, I love her. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love her with Jake Bon Jovi. I yep. love the picture when they went to the movie debut of the four of them. I think she's adorable. And I what can I say? And ultimately, you know, absolutely talented if I could spit the words out this morning. I love her. Yeah. No, she's fantastic. And she's, yep. it's crazy how young she is. I think she's like 19 or 20. Or yeah, I, mean, I think she might be just 20. I know she's young. You want to talk about someone like if you could invest in actors, you want to talk about like a stock market of actors. I would invest in Millie Bobby Brown because she's going to be she's going to have such a career ahead of her it's um oh it's wild. crazy crazy yeah uh so tv uh today netflix damsel uh debuts that's the movie we're talking about the streaming of wonka on max this weekend i'll be watching no doubt about it snl with josh brolin and ariana grande and sunday is the oscars candy an hour early they did that especially for me yeah, very nice. Because, well, maybe it's because of the time change. That's why, because oh, you're losing an hour. Too. Oh, that's yep. right. We lose an hour of sleep. All right, I got to go back to bed. You're losing an hour, so they start at 7 o'clock. Yeah, that's what they're doing. It's a nice touch for you. I know. Yeah. Uh, there you go. There's your bald and the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. Here's the deal. 50, sunny. It's a nice Friday. Tomorrow, we start off okay for your Saturday afternoon you're going to see heavy rains come in and go throughout the evening early sunday tapers off for a pretty decent sunday uh and then we look so to be dry half yeah. a saturday is good half then of rain correct and maybe yes. half a sunday is good yeah basically. i'm supposed to meet my cousin and go out all right i'm not you... driving in the pouring rain i don't like Re that don't relax really like yourself that. i'm sorry right. you're so uh, perturbed oh my god Let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on my country, 96.1.